My name is William Perkinson, and I'm here to tell you how WD-40 works. First of all, uh, WD-40 for years came in the can with a little straw taped on the side, but they've moved into the 21st century, and, and the straw is attached to the can, which is a miracle. But WD-40 uh, is literally stands for Water Displacement 40. They went through 39 uh, chemical combinations, so they came up with the 40th one. The cool thing about WD-40 is it does five things. It cleans, it displaces water, it penetrates your metal, it lubricates, and it protects. So, but most people, most people use WD-40 when they've got a pair of, of rusty uh, shears or scissors or something squeaking on your car. But it's easy as it can be. You take it, squirt it on the pivot joint on these shears. Makes your job a lot easier. Works the same on, on small objects as it does large. And if, it's, if you've got something that's rusting, like the uh, heads of these trimmers, go back to the broad spray, and it'll protect it. You can leave it hanging in the garden shed for years, and it won't rust up. How often do you apply WD-40? Well, it lasts, even after it's dry, it lasts a long time, so it's really as needed. But it's a good idea to, uh, right before the trimming season, in the uh, early spring, get them out, clean them up real good, spray it down, make sure they... They work real well, and you'll be good to go. Now, WD-40 doesn't have a shelf life. It uh, will last virtually forever in the can. So the, the can your, your grandfather has in his tool shed is just as good as the canless shelf at the store. I'm William Perkinson, and that's how WD-40 works.